I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And together we are Our Time of the Month. And today we're bringing you an updated skincare routine. This is something you have requested on Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, what the H are you doing? I mean, you say you want to see us more. That's where you would do that. We're taking a serious detour. Listen, very off brand for us. But you know, sometimes you want to drink wine, but maybe you're going to be going to a brewery later and you don't want to have alcohol. Well, have I got the thing for you. Not sponsored. This is Shirley Wines Sparkling White Alcohol Removed Wine. It's going to be like bubbly. Oh, but okay. no alcohol. Where do they put the alcohol when they take it out? I don't know. I'll take the spares. <laughs> I have just been wanting to really test different non-alcoholic wines and I, my phone heard me talking about it and it gave me an Instagram ad. This is the first Instagram ad I've ever purchased. Oh, congrats. Thank you. It says, we were tired of trading health for enjoyment, so we created Shorely. They worked with the best Sonoma winemakers to make real white wine, then they removed the alcohol but kept the taste. The first alcohol removed wine created specifically for people who love wine and hate hangovers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Does all the Hold things on. that sparkling wine does. Okay, here we go. Without any of the alcohol. Believe me, we're still lunatics without it, I promise. It smells more like sparkling apple cider. Cheers. Cheers. I don't like that at all. I don't hate it, but it's not wine to me. It's sparkling apple cider to me, but like not sweet. It tastes exactly like some of those things we drank at Millworks or whatever that was called. Oh, uh, yeah. It doesn't taste like grapes at all. No, and the bubbles are much, they're not like soft at all. They're aggressive. They look soft, but they're aggressive in your mouth. They go, yeah. They roar to life. Roar to life. We are obviously sommeliers. It's got a tang, like a vinegar tang to it. Mm. Well, there's $20 down the tubes. Well, I mean, it gets better the more you drink it, but it's not what I thought it would be. I wanted more. I also think if you were not, if you were genuinely not drinking alcohol for any reason. Yes. This could maybe make you fake it till you make it. Thing. I agree. I think, I think it would be a fine substitute for that. But Luanne de la Seps would like this wine. Is she not drinking now? No, and she's coming out with a fosé. Skincare! Skincare! We switch things up as the weather changes, and guess what, guys and gals? It's finally fall. Yeah, officially today, right? What are you looking at? I hear something running. It's this is loud! It's loud. I also want to preface this in that most of these products that I'm about to share have been gifted to us. I'm really gonna like make an effort to use them. One, I don't wanna buy new ones, but also it's a huge waste if we're sent them and then they sit and languish uh, in our collection. So Honestly. I am actively working through them. I also think it's probably the most thorough testing of products that we've been sent that I've ever done just because I'm like, okay, well, I don't have my tried and trues. I find it so fun to test skincare. I am enjoying it more and more. And I think I'm like paying more attention to like what things are doing, which is great. Same. I have only been using one pre pre cleanse product recently and it is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. I have talked about this before, in fact, in a video recently. I love it. I have, oh, that's why it leaked. I have repurchased it um, and I will continue to repurchase it, but I am very, very selective about when I buy it. I only buy it when it's on sale. I really focus on my lashes and I was thinking about this last night when I was washing my face, like what I was going to say. I just feel like it gl I can glide over my lashes really gently mm -hmm. so that there's no pulling, tugging, or rubbing. Like I never have to do this. I feel like I can just do sort of like big light circles and it will remove the most of it. The only time I do also have to sort of like look up and then get what ends up collecting under here. But it just, I don't have to do like a scrub, which I think is really helpful to retain my short and sparse lashes. We were big cleansing balm users for uh -huh. years. I just don't really see myself going back unless something knocks my socks off. I really love cleansing oils and my favorite one of all time is the Pi Lightwork Rose Hip Cleansing Oil. I have just one more use but I do have a backup already. It, it makes me feel like I'm treating myself every single night that I wear makeup. It's like I'm giving myself a facial. It's spot like. It is very spot like. It doesn't really smell like roses. It smells more citrusy but very natural. It does not smell artificial at all. It's the softest 
most velvety textured oil ever. I, you know, I do double cleanse when I use this because I don't want the residue left behind, but very similar to what Caitlin was saying, the makeup just melts right off. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to tug. You don't have to rub with a washcloth or anything, but anything like that. Every single thing comes off with this. It doesn't matter if it's like a long wear lip stain, a waterproof mascara, it's just beautiful. You can uh, emulsify it with a little bit of water, which is what I tend to do, and then I go in with my second cleanser, but yeah. I just really like pie skincare is what I've learned. Um, when it comes to my second cleanse, I have been bouncing around quite a bit with cleansers and I've been having a lot of fun. So the first one was Josie Marin sent us the Pineapple Enzyme Pore Clearing Cleanser. It is a gel cleanser. It, they do call it a foaming face wash, although I've never noticed it to be particular particularly foamy or bubbly and I don't okay. know if it's just because I'm not like working up a lather in my hands um, but it see it seems pretty gentle but I will say I don't love a gel cleanser so this is my shower cleanser it's not the greatest but I also think that's partially because I have dry skin I think gel cleansers aren't great for dry skin because they are I find in general more drying um, I hoped that since Josie Marin is all about like oil and, and like moisture and glow and I kind mm -hmm. of hoped that I had higher hopes for this um, but I am still using it I will use it up and I will report back if for something for some reason something changes um, the other thing I've been using Ren sent us this it's the Ren ever calm gentle cleansing milk I really love this mm -hmm. this feels very luxurious it is very soft and I mean when they say it's a milk yeah. I mean when it comes out of the thing it looks like a lotion so soft it smells like all Ren products which yeah. I can't even put my finger on kind of botanical yeah that's a great word for it but it's lovely and then the last one this was sent to us by skin store I've actually got it in a kit and I'll be talking about another product it's the skin Iceland glacial face face wash with willow, willow bark. I really like this I am um, I kind of wish I had a bigger one um, this feels like a very traditional cleanser it has hmm it smells mature mature but slightly floral mm -hmm. not um, bad. yeah but I've enjoyed using it but I never find myself reaching for it um, I normally like travel cleanser kind of um, or just like a, on an off night where I just feel like trying something new mm -hmm. but the the Ren ever calm I felt like is a really great pair where I get all the makeup off with this mm -hmm. and then I feel like I'm gently cleaning my skin with this yes I am pretty much only using one face wash right now, and it's the Origins Checks and Balances. Despite the fact that I have four cleansers that have been sent to us that I need to try and or give away, I continue to buy this. Yes. Because I love it that much. Mm -hmm. I use it in the morning. I use it in the evening. I've been using it since I was 19 years old. And when I think about it like that, it makes me feel really sad. <laughs> Uh, but it's just, it stood the test of time. You should have it's, earned a free one by now. You would think. It's just phenomenal. It doesn't dry my skin out, but it still kind of like comforts it in a way. I don't know. I'm just the biggest fan of it. I love it. There's really nothing left to say. As far as toners and astringents, I don't use them. I maybe do it like once a week, sometimes twice if I'm feeling real wild, but not regularly. Again, I have dry skin. Um, so I have one thing that we were sent by Skin Store was the Pestle and Mortar Balance Fine Misting Facial Spritz. I use this occasionally on my face. Uh, it's fine. It definitely doesn't feel very drying. It doesn't feel super acidic, but I have found that it is great when I sort of get like hot, a hot spot mm -hmm. or um, a little bit of congestion under my boobs. Yeah, it's been great for that. So it definitely works with making sure that your pores are kept like open and clear. So I would recommend this, but I think it's expensive. But the one thing that I was really surprised that I liked, and I thought it was kind of a wild pick for me to begin with, is the Skin Iceland Nordic Skin Peel with Alpha Beta complex these are little pads that have already been soaked in the complex solution. the solution um and they smell super fucking intense they do oh i remember mm -hmm. yeah like mouthwash like mouthwash and but honestly they feel so cooling on your skin it just you know what it is is it feels like they're doing something does it feel like the old commercials for york peppermint patties where the old guy's in the chair and he goes whoosh back in the chair oh kind of like one of that my favorites. but also kind of like when you see people washing their face in commercials and they like whoosh which yeah i don't know what like mop crew you come are having come through your bathroom after I you wash your face so hideous when i'm washing my face but also like never in my life have i whoosh 
yeah. and it's just gone like over my shoulders. Yeah, it feels really, really cooling and just like my face. I also, I guess, like when men do uh, aftershaves. Yes. Except not burning. There's no burning. Um, but it is just, yeah, I don't know. My pores are just like, hello. You feel like you did something. Also, my pores are in a Ricola commercial. Ricola. Yes, exactly. Directly opposite of Caitlin. Look at all your jingle jangly apothecary shit. I am a toner acid yes. fiend. Yes. I use one almost every single night, but not the same one, because you know I've got like seven. The three that I really love though the most, I think I have like maybe one or two uses left in this, and I will absolutely rebuy it right away. Mm -hmm. Josh Rosebrook Daily Acid Toner Brightening Facial Toner. It looks like apple cider vinegar. It kind of smells a yes. little bit like a vinegar, but it works so well. It never feels like it strips my skin. It's tightening and brightening and doing all the things that I want it to in the most gentle way possible. Recently, Youth to the People sent us, I've been using it, sorry, Caitlin. Whatever. <laughs> the Mandelic Acid and Superfood Unity Exfoliant. It has AHA, BHA, and PHA. And I've only used this probably five or six times, but I maybe use it once a week and I really do like it. It is not green, just the bottle is, but it smells sort of, oh, like sage. Sage, but also like rosemary. Yes, so turkey. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like, yeah, yeah, it's like a brine that oh, I put on my face. Slightly different on, like, on your hand. And a little bit of a minty menthol, but it's scent. It does smell like our turkey brine. Yeah, but I really like this, and then, Another thing, which I ended up buying, but then Ren also sent it to us. Have you tried it yet? They sent you one too, I think. I thought I have. It's the Ren Summer Limited Edition Daily AHA Tonic. So normally the one that they make all the time is in an orange bottle, and I like that one a lot too. This is the cucumber version, and also just the most precious packaging I've ever seen. Organic cucumber, it's got willow bark, just like the Skin Iceland mm. product, and lactic acid. So I do really like lactic and salicylic. I actually like all the acids on my skin. I love them all. I like to play them off of each other and I never use them more than once a day because it just fucks up your skin. No, there's one that acid that you don't like. I didn't used to like glycolic, but now we're friends. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, big acid hoe. <laughs> big acid vibes. So, I love acid. I just drop it every night. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, serums. And this is where I feel like I have the most fun, where I really just... Oh boy. Have, have done the best Caitlin. things for myself. Uh, tried and true forever and ever, we'll never give it up. The Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. I have seen you guys down in the comments telling us what products have more bifidus. No. Uh, ladies, I have a full bottle. I have two full bottles of this, so you're gonna be seeing this for the next six to eight months. I have another full bottle as well. I've also tried that version from Amazon by Isentree. Not as good. Not as good. I thought it was gonna be just as good. For the first week I was telling myself it was. Oh, uh -uh. I remember, yeah. This is better. Yeah, it's just so good. For a while there, I wasn't using it because I was trying to figure out some sort of reaction on my face. And I will tell you, my face didn't look as good. So it's back, <laughs> love it. Um, also, we were sent this by Beauty Pie. These are the Super Drops, brightening and oxygenating with oxygen skin. And niacinamide. <laughs> yes. Um, I really like these. I tend to use these in the morning, actually, pre-makeup. Same. But I would do them also at night. I feel like they absorb very quickly, but they have, it's more than just a watery serum. There is also like a little bit of extra oomph in there. I, yeah, really like those. My favorite part about that is that it's completely fragrance-free. Yes. I love it. It's mm -hmm. just so lightweight. You can totally layer up things over top of it. These ones I have just started really getting into, which are the Beauty Pie Super Active Capsules with essential ceramides and glyco and syphaglopolipids. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a dinosaur. Um, so you pull off the little nipple and then you just squeeze it on out. It feels so good. Um, oh, I it, love it on my chest. I really like it. It almost feels a little silicone-y to me. Yeah. Um, but I think it's it actually is beautiful under makeup, but I also really like them at night. I feel like they just really layered with other things, just like trap all of the moisture in. Um, I am excited. I think I would repurchase again another tried and true the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It is a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. And I would continue to purchase in the morning. What I've been using recently is the Pie All Becomes Clear rebalance with copaiba and zinc blemish serum this is a super super lightweight serum that's kind of milky in texture and color and it smells citrusy sort of like the pie cleansing work 
facial oil. Because this has zinc and I think copaiba, I don't know what copaiba is, but it's good for blemishes. I have found that I really like this when I'm very hormonal during that time of the month. It just really helps kind of soothe any active blemishes I might have. I had three at the same time on my chin and it did wonders. It mm. kind of like dried it up, but not in that really flaky scabby mm -hmm. way. It just kind of like Shrunk. sunk back into the skin kind of thing. Uh, so I really do like this. And then in the evenings, I'm using usually one of these or the Lancome. I've got the Beekman 1802 Milk Drops. They're probiotic ceramide serum. I really, really like these. I would, Sorry. did you get it? No, I was close. I would absolutely buy this again. In fact, I'm really liking this product so much that I kind of want to try other Beekman mm. 1802 products, despite the fact that it's by Bravo Stars, as Caitlin educated me about. Mm -hmm. I've just found that that doesn't matter because it's actually good stuff. Well, they sell it in Ulta. They do, I, I didn't realize. And then the other thing that I used to use a lot, and, and my facialist still uses it, and I repurchased it, was the Aveda Tulasara Calm Concentrate. This is a really thin, a really thin serum that Ooh. smells just like you're at an Aveda spa or salon, and it's really great for calming. There are some essential oils in here, so I think if your skin is super sensitive or reactive to that, maybe don't get it. But my skin likes it, and it does calm it down. So it feels really nice. It does. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm a serum acid hoe. I'm a serum person for sure. Really, really love all of those. For an optional step, Ooh. I am going to talk about adding in a little bit of tan, faux tan faux glow. Um, so I have been a longtime lover of the Tan Lux The Face Illuminating Self Tan Drops. I am almost at the bottom of this bottle and a month ago I would have said 100% will be repurchasing because right. I find that it's just great application, it's never splotchy, I've only ever had an issue with it when I've been an idiot, but other than that I, I greatly enjoy it and I think it gives you a decent amount of time with the tan. So you put it on, it doesn't just wash off the next day. Mm -hmm. um, but instead of repurchasing this, I am actually probably going to go for the Saint Tropez Self Tan Bronzing water face mist. Um, this was sent to us by Saint Tropez because it's a spray which I love, super easy to use, um, and it gave me a really good glow and it's much less expensive than the tan drops. Mm -hmm. You also I think get more uses probably out of, well I don't know, you get a lot of uses yeah, out of do. this. But the one thing with this is that I find that, okay, if I spray it on on a Thursday, when I wash my face Thursday night, by Friday night, that tan is mostly gone, unless I'm continuously applying. I enjoy using this. I find spritzing, I use it more because it is a spritz and not having to mix it in with my serum because I yep. don't always do that step. Um, but yeah, It's good if you don't want to make that commitment to constantly having a darker face than your body. Yes. And then lastly, semi-unrelated but related, is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. This is an SPF 50 broad spectrum sunscreen that I really, really loved using on vacation just as a sunscreen. I have worn it under makeup and I thought it performed great. Um, and then I just highly recommend, you know, incorporating sun care into your makeup or skincare as much as possible. And this yeah. was a really great way to do it. I use all of those same exact products, mm -hmm. every single one of them. Yep. And highly recommend all of them. It's in fact one of the only facial sunscreens that doesn't really break me out. Yeah. And I really like that. It's a broad spectrum too, so I think you need that, especially in a facial sunscreen. Yeah. The thing that I've been using on my neck and chest every evening is the Beauty Pie Uber Youth Neck and Chest Super Lift Serum Spray. You literally just spray it on your neck and chest. It does get kind of tacky feeling. Mm -hmm. So I was using it in the morning, but Caitlin was like, no, I'm only using it at night. So that's what I've switched to. And then I don't have to like feel it on me. And by morning that is gone. Yes. Oh, a hundred percent. This has been the most fun and impactful find that I've had in quite a while. And it came in one of my detox box monthly subscriptions brand. I've never heard of called Anua. Hawaiian skincare, Hanua? Hmm. I don't know how you would say that. This is the Aloha Youth Serum. Hmm. It's phenomenal. It is a retinol alternative. If oh. you've been following us for a while, you know, I have tried retinols in various efficacies and formulas and brands, and it like will make my face bleed. I know that there is a period, a transition period of getting your skin past it, but I can't handle it. No matter how infrequently I use it, how much I buffer it with a moisturizer, it's just a no-go for me. Yeah. And so my dermatologist was like, just find an alternative. And so this is it, and I'm really, really loving it. 
It's a serum style dropper. I'm pretty sure it's a female owned company. Oh. It's milky in texture. It smells very botanical again. Mm. It almost smells spicy. But it also it almost has like a nutty. Yeah. Hmm. And it feels really nice. And I think that it helps yeah. definitely with fine lines and aging, but it's also kind of hydrating at the same time. I would say it's, it feels much more hydrating than any of the other serums that like yes. I have. Like those are thin, they're thin yeah. and they just sort of, but this feels almost like I've put moisturizer on. Right. And so I apply my skincare in order of like thinnest to thickest. Viscosity. Yeah. So I would wash my face. I would tone it with an acid. I would apply a serum and then I would go in with something like this. And then even put a moisturizer over top of it, which I'll share later. But this, highly recommend checking out this brand. They also said something else, which was like a facial refreshing spray. Mm -hmm. Love it too. And I just so enjoy finding a brand like that, that I've never heard anyone talk about, and it's actually good. Yeah. So last stop for me is moisturizers. And I have to say, I have not been very adventurous with my moisturizers ever since being sent the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. Isn't it great? It is genuinely great. I feel like I'm halfway gone. Like, yes, I do too. But it is really the only moisturizer I have been using um, consistently. So I have been using it in the morning and at night. I do think that in the winter time, I might need something a little bit more heavy duty because this is not quite thin, but it falls towards the thinner side than some of like the thick uh, facial creams I've used. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend though. Again, our time sent me. Yeah, just do it. Um, the other one, and I can't do a skincare, you know, demonstration without it. It's the Eucerin Original Healing Cream. Anytime if I'm having a really dry spot or somewhere that I think I'm developing a little bit of eczema, this is what I end up putting on it. And it just, it's super, super thick. It's borderline a paste. Yeah. Um, and it just like will- Like diaper cream? It will, yeah, like diaper cream. It will just clear up whatever I'm dealing with in like a day or two. Um, so I would absolutely repurchase this. Uh, it is almost empty and I will never be without it now. Using the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. I'm using this in the daytime because like Caitlin said, it's hydrating, but it's not as hydrating as I want for nighttime. Mm -hmm. It's not as rich, I guess is the yeah. proper word, but I really do like this. And I'm really, really picky when it comes to moisturizer. The thing that I've loved for years that I've started back in my routine because it's getting a little chilly, the Ren Evercom Overnight Recovery Balm. I think I've bought three of these and I'm almost finished with this one. This is a very emollient balm. Honest to God, the second you touch it, it begins to melt. I don't want you to be afraid of that because it's not, it's not a pore clogging oil. It's made specifically for sensitive skin. There's no scent. It's very calming, just as the name suggests, but this is the thing that locks in everything for me yes. overnight. It just feels so wonderful and like a treat every single time I put it on. It just feels soothing. It's comforting. Or like when your lips are chapped and you finally put chapstick on. Yes. Mm -hmm. It just feels so nice. Like if you've ever washed your face and it's been really tight and uncomfortable, I hate that feeling. This just totally counteracts all of that. Lip products, I ha was dabbling. I have probably five bedside lip products that I will like reach to at random, but I was feeling really dry and I sort of ended up switching back and using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask exclusively. Um, I, I really like it. I've been using it for a long time, mainly because there's a ton of product in here when you first get it, mm -hmm. but I'm almost at an empty, which is very exciting. Um, and I would repurchase it and I also would be excited to repurchase it because back when I I got it they didn't have all the different like scents that they have now mm -hmm. and so i'd be excited there's like a green one and a purple one blue one and an orange one purple one yeah yes i am very excited to try a new one i think actually they might even sell a kit that has like minis and i might do that so i can like have a couple and then um the other thing that i have been using randomly is the skin iceland limit edition berry fix with wintered red algae Ooh. it is a very very thick lip balm. I like that it's in a squeezy. It's like Vaseline in its texture. Yeah, very lanolin like. It does smell very berry, which it like, does. Ugh, you know, so berry. I don't really care. But this is sort of like when I do my skincare, I will literally just put this on and then while I'm still doing whatever, this is what I'm wearing. And then right before I go to bed, this Got is what it. I put on. My nighttime lip balm is the Sarah Hap, the One Lux Balm. This one has a little bit of shimmer in it, hmm. which 
you know, would be good for daytime, but really I'm just looking like a disco ball when I'm going to bed. And I don't mind it because you need so little of it and it lasts all night on your lips and the glitter just stays there. And it's not even glittery. It's just like a little reflex. That's funny. Like my lips look like kiss me, kiss me. At yeah. 4 30 in the morning. At 4 a.m. when Barkley's ready to go take a massive dookie. <laughs> it is just so I mean it's so thick. It's thick. Oh yeah, you can see it. Actually, when you like pull your finger away, I you see can it, see like, the trail off of it. It's got like a cheese pull. Up. Yeah, it's wonderful. I really like it. I've had it for a long time and I feel like I'm never making a dent in it, which is a good thing. Um, I found it at Ulta. They also have it on Amazon, but Sarah Happ is like the OG lip lady, so Hmm. I'm in love with it. Nerve. Okay, lastly, I have the Lumiere Illuminating Eye Cream. I... Oh yeah, I remember when you got this. Yeah, you know, I always am like, eye creams. Ugh, what do, do they it. even really do? I, I have yet to see a... a Impact? Sure. Result? Sure, result was the word I was looking for. Oops! I have yet to see a result. If anything, my under eyes just continue to get crepier and drier and wrinklier. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna blame Stop the, being happy. I just, yes. If I was more serene, I would have less wrinkles, but I am very squinty smiley. Uh, so yes, the Lumiere Illuminating Eye Cream, I like the way it feels. I like that it comes in a little pump, so That's I have nice. a really controlled um, amount that I get at any time. Do I know if it's doing anything? No. Sorry to tell you. <laughs> Got it. You know, I'm great at this skincare review stuff. I have two eye creams I wanna talk about. I love them both dearly, and mm. like Caitlin, I always felt like eye creams don't do anything. In fact, I was someone who was using eye cream and constantly feeling like my eyes were getting puffier and more swollen. And I think it's because I was like allergic to something in the eye cream. Oh, yeah. Like I could feel them getting bigger. So I have two, one I use in the daytime and one I use at night. The Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream, I love this stuff and I use it in the morning time. This is the last step in my skincare routine, so I'll put this on after moisturizer, and I really like it. Same thing with Caitlyn. I really like a controlled pump, especially when it has a dog hair on it. It's great. Then, at nighttime, whoo, I might have to buy this again. Clarins Total Eye Lift Lift Replenishing Eye Concentrate. I think it's like $80. Mm. Excellent pump, beautiful red packaging. I, like I just red. feel like it's Christmas. Not enough uh, skincare comes in red. I really love red. And this is amazing. Yeah? Yeah. This back of my hand is gonna be the youngest looking. Yep. Okay. It's so smooth. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that is. It's so velvety. That's very, like, creamy. Yes. That's nice. It feels like I've enriched my under eyes. That, I could see, I yeah. could see why uh, this would feel like uh, that. Yep. Worth the money, in my opinion. So I use those and that's that. Wow. Just a couple of products that we put on our faces. Just and a couple things. As we said, this isn't even all of it. I get froggy every once in a while. I'm like, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna integrate this. I'm gonna do this. I mean, I have Ikea bins that I've labeled with a label maker. Yep. Cleansers, serums, toners, moisturizers like I have a lot of I have a lot of stuff and I think it's one of the reasons that I'm like working so hard to get through the things that I do have if you have suggestions for other things you'd like to see us try let us know I will say none of this is drugstore I mean I feel like I can find a good cleanser and maybe a decent moisturizer but I'm not gonna find the acids and like active ingredients at the drugstore like I can find in something like this or even the Lancome. Like there's no bifidus at the drugstore, baby. Yeah, I would agree with like cleansers, but I just don't think, are there a lot of drugstore oil cleansers? Cause that's the step that I would really have. I a, think so. I don't know. I think that you might actually be able to find something good. Oh, well, you know, take a look. Let us know down below. Yeah. Make sure you like, comment, snakes. Like, comment, snakes. Go find us on Instagram. Go find us on Facebook if you haven't. We also dibble dabble on TikTok and Twitter. To watch our last video. Watch our next one. Watch all of the videos. Yeah. And then we cut it. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Over and out. 10-4, good buddy. <laughs>